Hey there guys, this is Jikun Joker here, and welcome to my channel. Right now we're going to be doing some configurations to help make Chivalry run a lot better and smoother. At least for me, this is this is what I did and it made it work. It was pretty awesome. So let's go here and thank Bacon Alligator. I will put a link right here so you can actually, if you don't want to watch my video, you can just follow it along yourself. But if you're kind of lazy to read, I'll just show you the quick way on how to do everything. So first thing we have to do is we have to go to the chivalry folder and the easiest way to go is by going to your steam folder click on right click on chivalry hit properties go to local files and browse your local files after you browse your local files um, you go to UDK game then you go to config okay and voila we are at the place we need to be so the first file we're going to be doing, you know, we're going to be editing would be the um, default. Yeah, we're going to start with the default system settings file. So he gives us he gives us this um, tab that we can use. So click on that tab, and oh wait, before we do all this ed editing stuff, let's go to configuration folder. Now what was it again? Default system setting what was it? Yeah, default system settings. All right. So we're going to go to that file. I would recommend copying this file. So just in case, you know, you do the ed you know the editing, you know, you do all the configuration, it turns out your game runs even shittier or, you know, something just bugs out and it gets really crappy. So at least you have the original file so that, you know, you can always go back to. So yeah, I would copy both default system setting.ini and also the PC server UDK system settings.ini copy both of those because you're gonna those are the ones you're gonna be doing ed editing to alright so after you do that so now we can do editing and be safe so if everything gets shitty we can always fix it alright so first thing first we open that first tab now we're gonna go hit control A you know the control control key and the A key both at the same time then you're gonna hit control C to copy all of the content it allows you to not have to scroll way down and do all that stuff and if you already knew that I'm sorry for repeating so now we're gonna do the same thing here almost hit control A instead of control C we're gonna hit control V so do not hit control C control V and if you did hit control C um, go back and hit control A on the tab again and then control C and then control V over here again so by that time everything should be changed this is it should be good. If you hit the exit key, it should say, you know, save, blah, blah, blah. So that means you did some changes, which is good. That's what you want. Hit save. So now I'm going to exit this tab because we have a second one we have to go to. Next thing we're going to have to go to is the pretty much the UDK system setting file. Hit this tab again. Again, control A, control C. Now we're going to go to that file that we just were configuration zone. Alright, we did that. Let's go to the UDK system settings. Any? Let me just double check here real quick. Yep, that should be the right file. Sorry, I had to make sure that because I just saw another one that says UDK system settings. But I, I, actually, it was just uh, UDK settings. Never mind. Sorry, go go back to topic. Alright, so now you're going to want to go. Control crud control A again control V voila should be good exit save I prefer hitting exit first instead of hitting save first because at least if you hit exit you know that some changes were done so then you know your game you know it worked the changes you know happened alright so we did that now you can follow the steps stated before but remember save and exit lastly now blah 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 I don't know. It's whatever. Honestly, the game should be running pretty good now. At least it worked pretty well for me. So yeah, let's uh see how well it runs. Yes. Quick test run. Give it a second to load. It should be loading. Hmm, it's gonna take a moment. But if you already did all that that stuff, you are free to leave now. 
you're good to go. But if you want to watch and see how well it works on my computer, then you feel free to watch. Yeah. game so far so good but that's only the menu which is whatever hit team objective yeah la, 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 la. if you're still here thank you for, for waiting with me thank you for uh, seeing how well the game will work turns out the game turns you shit and I'm sorry it blame the alligator person blame him it's his fault he's the one that posted posted it I'm just trying to help a brother help me so far I mean it's the menu it doesn't matter all right let's be a bitch oh I have an axe damn it oh it's team objective oh team objective that's good I was getting confused for a last team standing <laughs> Do not mind my young voice. I promise you, I am rather old. I just sound really young because I'm tiny and Asian. But not a girl, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Running rather smooth. Yeah, 60 FPS. Cool, 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 cool. It's good. I'm, oh, I died. By my own teammate. Well, it works. 60 FPS. Alright, let's um, actually go and see if I run into a bigger crowd will it drop so there are some situations where you might have a dip in lower frame rates you know just for a second or two but it doesn't completely conflict with the um, gameplay I mean it does at that moment but then it stops see there's a good amount of people when I'm running oh crap I suck oh fuck so now you know it works alright guys that will be all thank you for joining me that is Jikun Joker Peace out, man.